TFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 2 p.m. Eastern time on Thursday, two hours left to go in the trading day. We have a pretty calm day in the markets out there. Right now, we got markets in negative territory, but barely. S&P's negative four points, trading at 2790. Dow Jones, negative 24 points, trading at 25,960. And you got the NASDAQ basically flat, trading at 75.54. Gold contract, negative about $5 on the session, trading at 1316. You got oil up 15 cents at 57.09. Notes and bonds, lower price, higher yield, 10 year note, negative six ticks, 121.23. 30 year bond, negative 16 ticks, 145.02. And the dollar index basically flat, trading at 96.060. We'll start off the update. Let's take a look at the futures markets with two hours left to go in the trading day. And as I said, pretty tight, tame trading day all over the place. So higher end of the range, just after the opening bell, 26,020. Lower end, I guess you could call it 25,920, 100 Dow points, but realistically, since at about 1130, so you're talking about the last two and a half, almost three hours, the Dow has been within a span of 40 points. That is quite a tight range for where we've usually been in the Dow. NASDAQ 100, a little bit different story, trading higher from the lows at 10 a.m. of 7,085. We're now approaching 40 points above that level, 7,124 in the NASDAQ 100. S&Ps near the higher end of its range as well, trading at 2,792. High of the day, 27.93.99. So we'll call it 27.44, about two or three S&P points from this level. Gold contract pulling back. We were up here at 13.28 at 7 a.m. Eastern time. Now $13 below that level, making a low at about 10.30 this morning. Just kind of hanging at that level since then. Crude oil, volatility as well, spikes to a high of 57.41, trading lower in the last few minutes, 56.88 in the price of April crude. And Euro US dollar getting volatility on both sides, but kind of jumping right back to where we started all the action. 1 a.m. Eastern time, 113.70. We trade all the way up to 114.20 as we saw some dollar weakness, Euro strength. And then we flip it around, we get dollar strength, Euro weakness, trades all the way back down, 113.76 on that Euro. Stay tuned, folks. We got Tom O'Brien coming up live from 3 till 5 Eastern time. We're going to have a replay right now, the 10 a.m. show, Tom and I, and then Tom will be live from 3 till 5 as he wraps up this trading day. Stay tuned, folks. We'll be right back.